Ever wondered who really shapes the cities we live in? Is it the real estate developers with their skyscrapers and luxury apartments, or the urban planners with their maps and public spaces? Today let's dive into this urban showdown. First up, real estate developers. These are the guys who turn visions into concrete reality, literally. They take an empty plot of land and transform it into residential towers, office buildings, or sprawling shopping complexes. Their goal? To make a profit, of course, but in doing so, they often drive the city's growth, bringing in jobs and boosting the economy, though. On the other side, we have urban planners. These are the unsung heroes who work behind the scenes. Their job isn't just about building, it's about envisioning and organizing spaces in ways that improve our quality of life. They plan where parks go, how traffic flows, and where houses are built, ensuring that growth is sustainable and beneficial for everyone. So, who has more influence? Well, it's a bit of a tug of war. Developers might build the city, but planners are the ones who shape how we experience it. Think about it. Without good planning, a city could end up a chaotic mess, no matter how many fancy buildings pop up. But here's where it gets interesting. The best cities, the places we really love, come from collaboration. When developers and planners work together, that's when magic happens. We get neighborhoods that are not only visually impressive but are also great to live in. Take the High Line in New York, for example. What was once a derelict railway line is now an urban park, thanks to visionary planners and supportive developers. It's become one of the most beloved spots in the city, showing how creative thinking and cooperative effort can transform spaces in ways that benefit everyone. So next time you walk through your city, take a closer look. Think about the invisible hands that shape the streets and buildings around you. Whether it's the towering skyscraper or the little park corner, each space has a story. A battle of ideas and dreams between developers and planners. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Who do you think shapes our cities more? Drop your views in the comments below. Remember, whether you're walking down a bustling city street or relaxing in a quiet park, someone made a plan for it and someone built it. And together, they shape our urban lives. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights into the spaces we live in. Catch you in the next one.